Good morning, neighbors. Let's sing when we all get to heaven. I hope we'll all meet each other there. We'll sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace. For in the mansions, bright and blessed, he'll prepare for us a place when we all get to heaven. What a day of rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus. We will sing and shout the victory. Now while we walk the pilgrim pathway, clouds will spread the sky but when traveling days are over not a shadow not a sigh when we all get to heaven what a day of rejoicing that will be when we and shout the victory so let us then be true and faithful trusting serving every day just one glimpse of him in glory will the toils of life repay when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we will sing and shout the victory. So onward to the prize before us soon his beauty will be behold soon the pearly gates will open we shall tread the streets of gold when we all get to heaven what a day rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus we will sing and shout the victory amen I was reading about how uh who who wrote this song and this woman she's a sister she's the valedictorian of her high school class in the late in the late 1800s and uh, what really wanted to do something she became a teacher but then she uh, had an accident uh something was wrong with her spine some kind of disease so she was an invalid for years but in that time she really began to dip into english literature and uh, she then she really thought i really want to do something for the church you know, and you could really feel sorry for yourself in that situation, but instead, she turns around, digs deep into this gift that she had, and begin to write, and she writes these words, when we all get to heaven, you know, and it's, we would like to bypass any kind of test and trial, but think about all the lives she has changed through this sickness that she had, and how she used it for the Lord's glory. And I like it because when I sing that song, it just a lot of memories pop in my head, and I'll share them in a minute. But when I sing that, and I believe when we all sing it, I, the emphasis on the song, you know, because many times you can say, when I see Jesus, which those are beautiful songs where I see him face to face. But this is a when we all, when we all, when everyone who's, who's covered their sins beneath the blood of Christ, when we're all there, you know, all these prejudices and everything would just fall away 
then we'll actually see, you know, all these things and uh, what he's done, and we'll have a greater understanding of the love, what he's done. And then, uh, I'm sure we've read this before, but John chapter 14, in verse 1, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, that you may be also. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, and how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And I really appreciate that. You know, when I have, there's many mansions. There's, there's so much room for everyone. And so many times you make heaven like this exclusive club. And, of course, you're going to be there. But we're so willing to kick everyone else out. Lord, you make a way. You fill, that, you fill it up. Fill your, your, this heavenly kingdom up that, you know, eye has not seen or ear has not heard what is going to happen over there. But this song is just a taste. And Brother Gary Stewart, who was the pastor for most of my life, uh, he would talk, he, he really enjoyed the song because he said, I remember as a small boy, you know, they were like the only white family in this old black church, you know, but it had a balcony. And he said, my goodness, you know, these, these really people living in poverty, they're all poor in this church, it seemed. Uh, but when they would begin to sing that, you know, they, they said the rafters would shake with the people in the balcony you think is about to come down as they're all singing at the top of their, their lungs, you know, when we all get to heaven, when we're freed from this world. And sometimes I think with all our luxuries and our beautiful homes and all the wonderful things that we have in the natural, it really almost dims that heavenly place in our minds because well we're pretty comfortable well we have pretty nice things but when you are when you lose it all and you have almost nothing in this life you're really looking to a world that is to come and when you're hated because again this is what would have been the 1930s and 40s a lot of uh, racial segregation and racism was rampant you know and so you're living in a world that just rejects you you know, and you're living in poverty, you think, oh, but when we all get to heaven, you know, they didn't let this become, they didn't become bitter and hateful. He said they were actually very loving and kind people because they're looking, you know, this is what this world could be if we could all love each other and serve one another. And, and uh, well, in that world, it will be. And I just thought of this testimony earlier. I, I'd heard Brother Gary speak throughout my life about his love for this song. And the Lord began to deal with me. This is when I was, the Lord first started speaking to me in a way that he wanted to use me. I hadn't been singing in church very long. But something just came over me one day at work, and the Lord just told me, you're going to sing that song with Brother Gary. The young people are going to sing that song with Brother Gary. And again, he was you know, in the 70s at the time, probably you know, close to 80. And I thought, okay, well, I don't know how that's going to work out. But it always seemed like the Lord is, at the time, the Lord is teaching me, but when I tell you things, wait for the right time. Well, maybe not. And it just never worked out. Then one time we had uh, quite a few young people at the church at the time, and they asked me if I got, if I could get a song with them, kind of song together for all the young people. And I thought, well, I don't know. All of a sudden the Lord just spoke to me and just went, now's the time. But ask Brother Gary. So we all, I had all the young people come up and said, Brother Gary, would you come sing with us? And when I, kind of opened the book he kind of was shocked and there's just one of those old red hymn books and he looked down and just smiled he said when we all get to heaven and just the way it all because usually you kind of clump together on the platform but we almost formed just like the, it was just the lord almost like a semicircle with him in the front and uh he just began to sing that song and i really felt you know you could see the people crying and my, even my dad afterwards that that was just sweet and brother gary told people later that really made me feel good. Yeah, and that's a special moment in my life because the Lord is showing me, if you wait for me when I speak, you don't have to rush and try to push yourself in there. Allow me to make the room. And uh, everything will work out. So uh, that's my little testimony for today. So God bless you all in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.